This site on the Ayrshire coast has become an environmental battleground. On one side, a coalition of green groups, charities and churches, which argues that building a new coal-fired power station here would be a travesty when Scotland's working to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. On the other, Ayrshire Power, which pledged it would use CCS technology to capture harmful CO2 emissions and store them beneath the sea. In the middle, North Ayrshire Council, desperate for new jobs, but not, it says, at any cost. It's the single biggest application that North Ayrshire Council has dealt with since it came into being. And an example of that, while it's not the council that take the decisions, it will in actual fact be Scottish ministers. Over 20,000 objections have been received by Scottish ministers. Protesters took to the streets of Irvine to ensure their voices were heard and tonight they are calling on the energy company to abandon its plans. We'd say to the applicants, uh, this is such an unpopular application, the most unpopular application in the whole of Scotland, you should just walk away now and cut your losses. But Ayrshire Power says the economic opportunities for Ayrshire and Scotland are potentially huge. An investment of more than £3 billion has been promised and it's pledged to fight on. The successful development of CCS at a plant at Hunterston has the potential to bring enormous economic benefit uh, to Scotland uh, when that technology is rolled out across the globe. A public inquiry looms, but it will be the Scottish Government which will have to make a final decision, balancing the need to ensure Scotland has sufficient generating capacity with the obligation to meet legally binding climate change targets.